Jennifer Lopez because of her amount of self-confidence and her drive to accomplish anything that she wants. Fiona Apple, I've loved her since I was a kid. I think she's a very strong woman. Um, she seems to be very intuitive and very empathetic and um, I just love her. Professor Zinnia Mukherjee and it's because she reminds me every day that I can do whatever I want to do in life. Gabby Sidibe because she is so headstrong on being who she is and doesn't give a care about her weight and doesn't let that stop her. Natalie Portman because she's beautiful and she's an amazing actress. Roxanne Maskell for Woman of the Year. She is currently serving as the president for the Association for Black Social Workers here on the campus of Simmons College. Maybe Beyonce? Just because I really like her music. I think she's the first black female artist to actually showcase her idea about feminism and like woman equality. Misty Copeland, who is a principal ballet dancer for the American Ballet Theater in New York City. And the reason I did is because she is a groundbreaker. She is one of the only African Americans to have uh, performed with them. Laverne Cox, Woman of the Year, because um, I think she does a lot of uh, PSA for transgender rights and just getting people to know what it's like to be a transgender woman and what it's like to be a woman really. So I chose Amal Clooney and the first reason why I chose her is because she's a citizen of the world. Um, she was born in Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, she's also a lawyer and an activist. I would nominate Taylor Swift because she's an inspiration to me and she's a wicked awesome feminist. 